Have you noticed that your chemical-free iron sulfur filter has stopped working? Have you noticed that those rusty stains, that awful rotten egg smell is back? Or maybe it just isn't working as well as it used to. It seems that it was doing a great job before, but as the years have gone by, all of a sudden it doesn't seem to be working as well. Are you looking for an easy fix? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix your chemical-free iron and sulfur filter in 10 super easy steps, starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So this video is definitely for you. If you're a homeowner, a do-it-yourselfer, a plumber, or a water filtration specialist, and you want to breathe new life into the chemical-free iron and sulfur filter. These systems are great because, like I say, they don't use any chemicals, there's no filters to change, they're super easy to maintain, but after a number of years, sometimes the media needs a little rejuvenation. So how these systems work is they use air to oxidize the iron and the sulfur out of your water and then trap that oxidized iron sulfur inside the tank and then backwash it every few days. Now, if you want to learn more about how these systems work, I've got a great video that shows you the whole process. I'll put a link in the description down below and you can definitely check that out. So this procedure applies specifically to air over media iron and sulfur filters. So they have to have an air inlet, something like this, uh, some of the older models, the air inlet looks something like this. Uh, there's a few different other kinds on the market that will definitely work, but it definitely has to be able to draw air at the top of the valve. If yours uses uh, a valve that looks something like this on the line coming from the well going to the pressure tank, this is what's called a Mazzy with bypass, this procedure won't apply. But I do have a great uh, procedure that will show you how to uh, maintain those systems, and I'll put a link in the description down below. So a common area of maintenance for these air over media, chemical free iron and sulfur filters is the injector. The injector sometimes gets clogged after a number of years of use. So before we go any further with the other procedure I'm going to show you in this video, you need to check that to make sure that is working. And to do that, it's quite simple. You just press and hold down the regen button, hold it for about five seconds, and you'll hear the motor start up just like that. So now the valve is moving and positioning itself and it's going into the backwash cycle. So once you see the valve start counting down here, then you can uh, for fast forward it to the next cycle and that's where we're going to test this out. So the second stage is the air draw. So at this stage, now this isn't connected up to water, but uh, yours obviously is. So at this stage, water should be slowly flowing to the drain. But when you put your ear next to this injector here, assembly, then you should definitely hear a gurgling or a sucking sound. Even if you put your hand around it like this to close off the air and let go, you should almost hear a popping sound. If you don't hear that, then you need to um, do the maintenance on that injector before you go any further with this video. And I'll put a link in the description down below that uh, goes through that whole procedure of how to clean and or replace that injector. So once the unit is properly drawing air, if you're still not getting the performance you used to, or it stopped uh, working altogether, that media inside the tank needs to be cleaned. Now I should mention this procedure is exactly the same, whether you've got an FOB, an FOC, or an FOK, chemical-free iron and sulfur filter. This is not routine maintenance. You only do this if the unit has stopped working altogether because this procedure is actually quite hard on the media. But it's definitely worthwhile doing to see if you can breathe new life into that media or it's time to replace that media. All right, so the first step is you want to press the regen button, hold it down for five seconds, so it starts the regeneration because you want to release all the pressure that's inside this tank. So again, this one's not connected up to water, but yours is. So once it gets into the backwash cycle, you'll hear a big whoosh of water and, uh, and water will start flowing to drain very, very quickly. So then what you're going to do is you're going to bypass the unit by turning the... the by, set, by putting the bypass into bypass mode. And then what you're going to do is get a, get a small bucket and you're going to remove this C-clip here and you're going to pull up on the drain line and you're going to put it, position it over a bucket because especially if your drain line goes up, there's going to be water in there and you want to make sure you drain that off uh, before we go any further. Once you've drained it off, then you can uh, put, put it back together. Then what you're going to do is you're going to remove this here, this air injector assembly and again you're going to use the e-clip you're going to uh, remove that 
set it aside, whatever you do, don't lose it, and then pull up on it. So now what you want to do is you want to separate the elbow from the rest of the clip. And uh, so that's similar to a John Guest type quick connect fitting or a shark bite. So you just push in on it and then pull out. So you're pulling out, so you're pushing in on this little collar, this little gray collar, and you're putting pressure in, and at the same time you're holding that collar back. Once you've put pressure in, then you pull back to release it. Once you've released it, you need some 3 8 inch tubing, like this here, and you're also going to be using some bleach. So I recommend uh, about a quart or a liter of bleach. So you can push the tubing inside here, and then you're going to put this back onto the system. Like that. And then you're going to grab the bleach. Now, I suggested one liter or a quart. I know this container is larger than that, but uh, there only is uh, one liter in here, or like I say, one quart. And then you're going to advance, push the regen button to advance the valve. And you're going to advance it into the air draw. Now, on the valve, it doesn't actually say air draw, it says brine. Okay? So then what you'll, you'll do next is you'll open up the inlet side of the bypass like so, and then you'll, you'll see or you'll hear sucking coming from here and you can actually put your thumb over it and let go and you'll hear like a popping sound. So then what you're going to do is you're going to put this inside the bleach container, okay, and it's going to suck out all the, the uh, chlorine that's inside here and it's going to run it inside the tank. And it doesn't take very long, it only takes maybe five minutes, something like that. And then once you've sucked all the bleach into the tank, then what you're going to do is you're going to bypass it and you're going to let it sit in there for half an hour. While you're letting the bleach sit inside the media tank, you can put this back together again. So again, push in the tubing, pull back on the fitting, and then pull the tubing out. Your air draw fitting, push it in. You'll feel some resistance, but keep going because it snaps right in there. Put the E-clip back in. All right, and depending on your timing and all, all this, it uh, and the programming, like my unit right now shows uh, just over 28 minutes remaining. So basically you want to bring it, uh, let it finish its cycle so that that, uh, that chlorine or that bleach inside the tank has the, the ability to um, to oxidize the iron that's fouling up that tank and uh, we're going to flush it to the drain next. Once you've waited the full 30 minutes, or you can go a little bit longer, 45 minutes, etc., then, like I say, the valve will be back into normal operation. So then you press the regen button, hold it down, it'll start a regeneration. Once it starts a regeneration, then you're going to slowly open up the bypass valve. So I've slowly opened up the bypass valve and we're going to be flushing all that chlorine to the drain. It's going to go through the full 15 minutes of a backwash and then it's going to continue on and suck air through the system. So that's the procedure. This process will deep clean and rejuvenate the media inside your media tank and you should notice a big difference. If you don't, Go through the process again and check it out again. If that still doesn't make a difference, you need to, to replace the media inside the tank. And I've got a great uh, YouTube video that shows you how to do that. Just click, click on the link down below in the description and you can check it out there. For more videos on iron and sulfur filters, click over here and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, just add them down below. I read them all and I'd love to answer yours.